Hello all of my lovelies, welcome back to my channel for another video. Before we get started, I'd like to ask if you enjoyed this video to give it a thumbs up, to subscribe to my channel, and to ring the bell. That way you'll always know about new content. As well, today is a much longer video, so you might want to hit pause and go grab yourself a bevy or a snack or both or whatever floats your boat and meet me back. For my base colors, I am using c and Shellac Cream Puff, Olive Grove, and Limoncello. And then as decoration, I'm using the Swarovski Crystal Sunflower Color in assorted sizes. And then when I am applying my crystals, I am using the Crystalline Magical Tray. I love this tray. You literally can put some crystals in, obviously not too many. You give the tray a gentle, gentle shake and the stones all flip up, it's perfect. And then to apply my stones, I am going to be using my Crystal Katana, which has Jeweler's Wax on the one end. And then to hold it in place, the Glitter Mix Canada Bling It Rhinestone UV LED Gel, and I really, really like that product. And then to seal everything up, I have the OPI Gel Color Matte Top Coat. All right, it's time to apply polish to the nails that I am using two layers cured in between and then we're going to get into the artwork right away. So I'm just taking a really long um, striping brush and I'm just running my lines across. Starting off with a large X. And then just working on the lines. Now your lines don't have to be perfect. Um, and you'll, you'll see a little bit later that imperfect lines, you can still get the desired look. It's just not quite symmetrical. Then I'm just going to do a little bit of cleanup, fix some of these lines. And then I'm just making a very small dot to use to hopefully get into the middle. It's 
it's still struggling a little bit, so I'm just gonna do more correction. It's kind of hard to get it perfect, especially because I like perfection, I am a perfectionist. And yeah, when things don't line up, it drives me a little bit bonkers. And then we'll just do some touch-ups. All right, now it is time to fill in the diamond shapes with the color. So all I did is put a small amount of the olive grove. Then I'm just using a dotting tool to spread it around. I find this works the best. And then just cleaning up my oopsie and then filling in the last one on this first nail. All right, so now that that is cured, I'm going to go and put in the white lines. And the white lines is really what brings this design together. All right, and now I am putting them in the opposite direction.
So yeah, I did my best to make this one perfect. Couldn't quite get it, but I'm okay with that. All right, so we're moving on to the next nail and I do have the rest of this kind of in like warp speed, but you'll be still be able to see um, how I did some marking to get a better centered design. And then just fixing that spot. And then correcting that one. All right, now it's time to fill in the diamond shapes. All right, so that is now cured and we're gonna go in and put on the white stripes. Okay, and on this next nail, I decided I wanted to do something a little bit different. So I just did the argyle design on the lower half of the nail towards the tip. And then I did the same thing on the other nail or the nail next to it. Then I'm just doing the very last nail and and then it is time for the white lines. All right, now comes the bling out time. I'm just using a striping brush to apply some of the bling gel. Then I realized it wasn't working too well, so then I topped it up with my dotting tool to just have a little bit more. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and place the crystals. I do believe I used all of the same size to, to do this. Um, and if I had to guess the size of the stone, I would say an SS9.
And then I did the same on the other nail. Throw those stones on. All right, now it is time for top coat, and I am using the OPI Gel Color Matte Top Coat. So when you are applying top coat to your nails that have crystals on them, you don't want to polish over them because then you'll coat the facets, and the facets are what make the crystals shine. All right, that is the finished look. I love how these turned out. Oh my gosh, so, so cute. Thanks for watching my video today. Have yourself an amazing day.